what's good guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mama Faya Tarot. I really, really appreciate you. If you are a current subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're why I'm here. If uh, you're just tuning in, please consider subscribing. It's totally free and it's a great way to give a positive energy exchange. Also, please consider liking this video so it can make the rounds on YouTube and other people can seize it and people can get the messages that they need to hear and see. So anyway, Libra, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you vibe with me as a reader and you would like a personal, you can find that information in the description box below. I read for everybody in my wellness center. I'm having a crazy Leo hair day. Uh, not like you care, Libra. All right, anyway, I read for everybody in my wellness center. My ADD has been wild lately. Um, let's see, let's see, everybody in my wellness center, I do Zoom readings on there, and I absolutely love it, and we have an amazing team of incredible practitioners, all of whom have amazing experience, and I'm just so lucky to be surrounded by... Uh, this group at the center and my boss who's a hypnotherapist and just all of it's so dope um, anyway and with CO if you just have a quick question that you want a video response to you can check the link below use code mamafaya at the greenwitchhome.com and get 10% uh, off some beautiful crystals and smudge sticks and things like that from a local witch who makes everything herself and who's deeply talented and gets all of her crystals sourced from um, very, a uh, very ethical uh, crystal farm. Okay, so I think that's the end of my spiel. That was a long one. Sorry, Libra. You should be my last reading of the day. All right, I love you guys. I have Libra and Jupiter, so sometimes I'll resonate with the Libra reading. All right, this is a love reading. So let's just get into it now because I've rambled for way too long. All right. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mo it be. Wow, she, the same cards keep popping out. It's so funny. All right. What's going on for Libra in love? Ooh, stay rooted and grounded. So if you have to get out into nature, get onto a beach, uh, get out into the sun, do what you have to do to feel the earth beneath your feet, I'm getting really strongly. Dig your feet in the, in the sand or in the, in the ocean too and, and exfoliate your skin or just... Um, if you can't be around any sand, then definitely dig in the dirt, I'm getting. And maybe do the, like, um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> it's just where the yoga move where you just stand there with your arms. It's just standing, basically, but you're, you're as, you know, your alignment is perfect, you know. And it is truly a yoga move that's a little harder than it looks. Um, try that, especially if you practice yoga. And you already know what I'm talking about. And you probably already... Okay, if leave the name of that yoga pose. That's standing. <laughs> anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, please leave it in the description, uh, in the comment section. Uh, autumn. Ooh, that's your birthday if you're a Libra sun. Uh, and it looks like it's time for you to rest. And that, that includes getting digging your feet in that dirt and doing some yoga outside. That would probably be really good for you. Um, and be brave and honest with yourself and know when you need to take a break. Holy message resonating for me. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm taking the rest of the night off because I am pooped in. Oh, spy kid. Your person's keeping a close eye on you, Libra, whether you're talking to them or not. But also, I am getting this. Who did this come out for? I think it was Aquarius about setting their sights higher and, and really... Like setting those goals, set the bar high. I, I'm getting that again here. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius um, who really needs to like set that bar really high. I'm getting for some reason um, like a, a pole jumper. Not, what the fuck? Why can't I talk today? You know, in the Olympics when they run with the stick and then they jump over the other stick. 
that person. <laughs> Leave that in the comments too. My brain isn't working. Um, take note of intuitive messages. Your person is definitely could be a water sign as well. Uh, Pisces and Cancer I get with this card. Uh, they, why am I umming? Ugh. They have, they definitely could have some strong psychic gifts or at the very least, a very strong intuition. Very strong. Like can call the horse that's going to win kind of thing. I went to the horse race, the track one once, once. And my horse won, of course, because I'm psychic. Right? I thought I was going to be a boss at the horses, though. I wasn't that great. I should have been better. <laughs> All right. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. So this person, while they're highly intuitive, definitely has some negative people around them, though. And I think they need to be way more discerning about who they let in. But, ah, it's because, but it's because they're the type of person, Libra, that lots of people go to for advice and, and come to because they are so intuitive, because they are so smart, because they, they are, you know, just a natural leader as well and, and good teacher. Um, I think your person probably has some energy vampires around them, to be honest with you. And uh, that's, that's hard to deal with. And, and I, I bet this person's an empath as well. Whew, hard. Choose your path. Both of you guys need to get more focused. And, and focus on what you want versus, not, uh, versus focusing on what you don't want. So that's, that's a big one here, Libra. For some reason, that's coming through really strongly. Let's see what else is going on. Whoop. All right. You're a little disappointed, sad, not really seeing the love in your life right now. I hate this five of cups. Everybody hates the five of cups. Like, turn around. Look at the cups. Look at the cups behind you. You know, there's love here. But you're looking at the water spilled in the sand. It's funny. I said get your feet in the sand and this guy's on a beach, you know. Mm, queen of coins. Oh, good. I love it. 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 I love it a lot. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. There it is, leaves. Yeah, you're a little depressed. <laughs> a little sad. But you're still a boss-ass mom, caretaker, money maker, um, all around good woman. All right? So truly, don't let the turkeys get you down, Libra. Don't. Don't do it. This Libra might have some empathic qualities too. You know, you might have some empath qualities and you start sucking in other people's negative emotions. Be careful of that because you've got 10 of pens. This is the best minor card, in my opinion, to get in a reading. I mean, it's one of the best cards to get in a reading. Screw minor, major, whatever. The 10 of pentacles is everything. And guess who built that 10 of pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles, along with the King of Pentacles, you know, but you've, why am I getting, we built this city on rock and roll, what, did you build your own little city on rock and roll, Libra? It's like you've got your own, you've got, you know, and whether you live alone or have a humongous family. It, you've got a happy home, that's for sure. Ace of Cups, yeah. With the Knight of Wands, damn, this dude's coming out. Everybody got to watch their impulsivity right now. That's all I'm saying, okay? I do think if my Libra's been single for a while, they're bringing new love in, and it may be like a really strong sexual attraction. If you're married, you're, re, you're, you're reigniting the romance, I'm getting so trying to reignite romance into, um, oh, I just started channeling R. Kelly and I don't, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. All right. Um, seven of pence. So your person has planted a lot of seeds and is watching them grow. I mean, I do think things are going a little more slowly than they would like. Um, however, the seven of coins isn't bad. It, it's someone who has worked really hard to build that up. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Could definitely be two women here in this relationship. Or um, your person 
is embodying a more feminine energy. Both people are coming from a more feminine place, which is fine, even if it's a man and a woman or two men. Dude, those are just words, like, to describe. It's... Anyway. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Okay. Once this person really cuts out the people who slow them down, the people they need to protect themselves from, you guys got victory coming in. Work together. There's a lot of queens here. It's almost like your person's trying though, and I'm not getting that this is two different people. I'm not, and I'm not getting this is a third party uh, thing. What I'm getting more is that they need to, this is more of like head and heart decisions that they have to make or trying to get, and I think the best kind of decisions actually come from the head and the heart, not one or the other. You know, when they both agree and the gut, you know, when it all agrees. Yeah, and this person is definitely a master manifester. Good person. I'm getting really good vibes from both of these people. I do think that, you know, the, this Queen of Cups may be learning to express herself more. I think that's where, or himself, whatever. If this could definitely be a man and a woman, or a woman and a man, 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 woman, woman, man, woman. I mean, it just, it doesn't really matter. But like what, what is happening with this person is that they are really learning to temper both Temper their emotions and their, their mental space and learning how to communicate how they feel. And it will temper, it will, I mean, sorry, and it will, why I'm saying temper, it will um, bring in some really high vibe manifestations. I can feel that. I like this a lot. Ooh, the star. I'm getting wishes fulfilled at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting maybe my Libras are buying a new home. Could be. And maybe you're feeling a little impulsive, like, ah, I just want to get this done before October, before my birthday, before this next wave comes in. Don't bug. <laughs> Don't bug, Libra. Okay? Don't. Oh, this, this Knight of Wands might be a little Bambino, too. Could be. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. There we go. And the Queen of Swords is you. This Queen of Swords over here could be you, sweetheart, and, and, and your person seeing complete victory with you and knowing they manifested you into their lives. And the Queen of Swords here is bringing in both the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Biatch, you got this. I love it, Libra. I love it. I mean, this is total financial and emotional fulfillment. And while you may suffer still from a little depression, know you are an effing boss and that that depression makes you stronger not weaker and that you need to honor that okay be okay with that sadder side of you and express it um ooh, libra yeah find balance over your emotion libra all right temper the emotion look at all you have here there's nothing to be disappointed about life is hard Okay, there's no doubt. Life is hard. But this Libra got a good one going on. And their partner does too. I think your partner has a few energy vampires, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm picking up on that hardcore yes and now even more so. They're struggling a little harder, like, in the other people's department. Like, and it's not other romantic relationships at all. I'm getting maybe co-workers co-workers who are always because because it, what I'm getting is someone who works for a big company who is constantly getting asked questions from people below them on how to do the job and what to do and it just exhausts your person at times that can be really hard but they are a great teacher and that's why they attract that in you know tell them to <laughs> no I'm just kidding. I, I seriously, Libra, almost told you to tell your person to play dumb. She's like, I don't know. Go to someone else. I mean, they do feel trapped in this job. 
I, or whatever it is that they're doing, and and that can be really hard. I'm getting that this per this whatever it is this job is or whatever that they have to do where people are sucking at them. Um, they got the golden handcuffs on them. Like that's where a lot of this ten of pentacles is coming in. Actually, is from the partner. It's both of you. It's definitely both of you. You know, and um, it's very hard for your person to have boundaries. Not necessarily with you, Libra, but with their coworkers and stuff. Um, however, they're gonna get there. You know, it looks like after um, after August. They're, they're going to really start to um, employ really far stronger boundaries. That's what this looks like to me. And it doesn't look like it has anything to do with you, Libra. So it's interesting that it's coming up in the reading. I'm getting that it is affecting the relationship, though. That your partner is probably extremely tired and lethargic on nights and weekends when they get back from work or whatever is going on here. Um, I'm picking up on something very specific, so I'm really sorry if this doesn't resonate with you, but I got a story here and I got to go with it. Yeah, I do think this person learning to slow down, learning to say no, learning to set boundaries it is going to happen closer to Virgo season, is definitely going to happen in a time, you know, when things slow down. For whatever this may even be someone who's again I got this in the uh, Aquarius reading that you know there may be a job that they do very heavily in the summer months and it maybe slows down one of those like more seasonal jobs as well or they're just in a very busy moment but yeah they value equal give and take and they want that with you so Libra this is a great relationship it just Watch the lack mentality, you know, it does seem like this money, this person is a bit of a workhorse because money's tight and dude, you're not alone. You're not. Money's tight for so many people right now. And I'm so sorry, Leibs, if you're, if you guys are, you know, or it could be that, you know, uh, if you're getting a new home or moving on to something else, which could be a possibility here. Uh, that it costs a lot of money. Move it, moving is expensive. So, you know, um, but you guys, you too, I think I'm back on the, on the married couple here who I read for every now and then, <laughs> very specifically, or a couple of married couples here or very committed couple um, who has victory in the Ten of Pentacles in sight. It's amazing stuff, guys. Yeah, you know. Whoop. That was crazy. You know, though. You know that you um, got it going on. Yeah, I got it going on. On and on and on. All right. What song is that? Is that Tribe Called Quest? On and on and on. I think it is. Entrapment. Wow. Okay. You know what I got with these two here is that, like, you're too smart, Libra. You're almost too smart. And it's like, and that's, I think, part of what depresses you. I think, Libra, you're, you're sad about the world. <sighs> Shut the TV off if you have to, sweetie. I feel like I'm about to cry. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know why I'm crying right now. There's a lot of suffering in the world. And I think maybe Libra, you're, you're exposing yourself to a little too much of it. And you might be a bit of an empath. I don't know why this is happening right now. Um, you know a little too much. You're too smart, okay? And take a break. Take a break. And... Um, yeah, shut the TV off. Okay, I think um, things are overwhelming you, Libra. And um, fear. The fear. I'm sorry. Okay, the fear is overwhelming you a little, but it's okay. All right? Shit. This hasn't happened in a while. All right, Libra. 
It's all right. If if it is, if this if this is what's happening for you, um, you know, just or whatever it is, whatever it is that's scaring you, know that you are protected. You've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here, and I do think this Libra has the choice to meditate meditate take some time just for you get center dig your feet in that dirt and just let this shit go okay yeah because your person is happy you're happy you have a good life no matter what's happening in the world and um putting yourself through this kind of like just you're an empath not protecting yourself that's what this is that's what this used to happen to me all the time Protect yourself more and be brave about it and release old and rest. Take a break from, from the news, okay? I'm getting that so strongly and I have no idea why I'm crying. <laughs> but your person is happy at home with you. You have a, a really great life, okay? So whatever this is, you, you do. You have a really great life in the end. And I'm so sorry. Like, just, I, I do think, though, that, like, it's, it's, you're overexposing yourself. <sighs> History, yeah. And I, I think there is a level of like, I don't know. This person's ready to move on. They are. And then they're ready for the new karmic cycle. I think you're ready. Just let go of any fear. And whatever it was that I just tapped into, know that you'll be okay. All right? All right. Libra, that was, that was crazy. Just keep growing, okay? And just keep swimming. All right. Take care, guys. I love you. I, I have no idea why that just happened. <laughs> okay, bye.